On Monday, we will learn who will be replacing Nellie Cornier at the head of the Nouvelle-Aloïde Regional Corporation. But not every beneficiary gets to vote for her replacement, and some hope that the new leader will change that. David Thurton reports. I think that every person in every community, including the people that live outside the Inupiaq settlement region, should have a say. Chris Delaney came to the candidates forum looking for change. So we knew Alouette like her can have a say in who becomes the new chair and CEO. Only directors of the community corporations that make up the IRC can cast a ballot in this election. The outgoing chair says the original negotiators of the land claim spent a lot of time on this issue. It takes away from the popularity contest. Okay, this is a private corporation and we're running it as a private corporation and there has to be structure and there has to be discipline. That was what the negotiators spent a lot of time in trying to determine what is the best way to do it. Nevertheless, a number of the candidates vying for this office here say if they're elected, they'll work to open up voting, similar to other land claim organizations like the Gwich'in Tribal Council. That's one of my plans to do that, to make it more democratic mm -hmm. and uh, make it uh, so that all Innovalor get to vote and not just 42 directors, but it's got to go to through the 42 directors. But a greater openness is just the beginning of what some Inuvialuit want. I think Nellie has done a great job for the time that she's run the Inuvialuit Regional Corporation. However, I think that it needs to be a more fair and democratic process where people should only be able to do two terms. We wanted to hear what else the candidates had to say at the forum held in Inuvik last night. But after a vote, it was decided to keep the media out. David Thurton, CBC News, Inuvik.